Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Retired Vet Show. Please hit the like button as you come in. That can help the channel out. Let's get into this story. Benjamin Netanyahu said they will stand alone as Biden denies lethal aid to their country. You know, we just passed a, uh, a aid package to Ukraine, to Taiwan, and to Israel. But the only one that has stipulations, the only one that has uh, been denied their aid is Israel. Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu minister said Thursday that his country will stand alone if it has to in its war against Hamas as threatened to deepen a crisis of relations with the United States. I don't understand why we're involved in the, in the, into their sovereignty, into their battle with the Hamas terrorist. No one got involved in our country when the terrorists bombed our country. And then when we went into Iraq and Afghanistan, no one told us to stand down. No one told us, hey, y'all need to knock that off because you know y'all are, are, are creating an international incident. They understood that the United States had been attacked on 9-11 and that we were going after the people who attacked us. That was the premise of us going into Iraq and to Afghanistan. But as we saw on October 7th, when Israel was attacked by Hamas and they murdered, tortured, raped and burned alive people now for some reason we must stand in judgment against israel and i understand that they're in a very populated community but they chose this battle they attacked israel so they knew what was coming and the people in this palace down in the gaza strip know that the terrorists are within their communities that they're in their hospitals within their little communities they're underneath the ground on, in which they walk every single day. And they know this, yet they are afraid to tell anybody. And so now they're shocked that Israel is retaliating and trying to root them out by going underground into their communities and destroying these tunnels and killing the terrorists. And unfortunately, some of the civilians who are being killed, and I understand that, war is like that. You can't have a pristine battlefield where no civilians get injured or killed. When they attacked us, mostly civilians were killed. They didn't care. Hamas attacked them. They didn't care. So then now Israel is on the offensive, getting ready to take the last stronghold where a lot of the terrorists are, prob possibly where the, the uh, hostages are being held. Now the United States, for whatever reason, because of politics, is telling Israel to stand down. Don't go into Rafah. You you went into all the other neighborhoods in Israel, but we don't want you to go into Rafah. Why is that? Because there is an uptick of anti-Israel sentiment here in the United States, and it's an election coming, and they want the uh, Muslim vote. So that's why they're coming out in strong opposition to Israel attacking Rafah. It's been deteriorating for a while because first it was a strong we stand with Israel and then it slowly started to deteriorate. There was a House hearing yesterday and uh, the Defense Secretary, Lord Austin, admitted that they were withholding aid and that they were looking into it. So it's not a, uh, a odd statement that people are saying that the United States is withholding aid. They are legitimately withholding aid because they're, they have entered Rafa. And they're going to destroy the last stronghold with or without our support. Even though the money's been passed, it's been allocated. Biden is holding it up. And let's not forget that President Trump was impeached because he withheld money from Ukraine. And it wasn't even during a war. Israel has been attacked. Israel is defending itself. Now Biden is withholding lethal aid. I wonder, will he be impeached for doing the very act that he was totally against uh, Trump doing the uh, holdback on the Ukraine aid? I wonder will the spineless Republicans actually take have a spine and try to impeach Biden on this. We shall see. But let me know what you think down in the comments. If you can like this video, hit the like button. Please subscribe to The Retired Vet Show. Thank you for listening. God bless you all. Stay safe.